Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 modding tutorial. I believe this is part 4. Uh, last episode, we placed our country on the map, as well as gave it a capital, and the beginnings of a leader. Uh, this episode is going to be shorter. It, we are just going to be naming our country. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do... So we're going to go into localization in both our folder and Hearts of Iron 4, four uh, the game folders. And we're going to find one called Countries. Make sure it's not the cosmetic, but just regular countries. Uh, English for me. I'm assuming most of you speak, most of you speak English that are watching this, as I am speaking English in this. Although, whatever language you need to do this for. Make sure it's also not country. Make sure it's countries with an S. So copy that over. Remember, never edit the game files. And then open that up with Notepad or Sublime Text or whatever it is you're using. And you will see every country has names for each ideology. So what we're going to do is TUT underscore underscore. Uh, so neutrality, because we start out neutral, uh, colon zero. And we're just called tutorial country. And then we need two for everyone. Underscore capital D F. The tutorial country. So you have one that's just whatever the name is, and then one if it needs a the in front of it. If it doesn't need a the in front of it, you still have to make one of these. So you have two for each one, right? And we're just going to copy that. Paste it a few times. We need four of them, because now we need one for communism. Both of these will be communism. Um, we could change the name, so we could name it the tutorial commune, and then the tutorial commune. I think we have one for fascism. So we can have tutorial Reich, perhaps, and the tutorial Reich. And then finally, democratic. Make sure you spell everything correctly. If anything's spelled wrong, the game won't know what you're trying to say. Uh, the tutorial republic, how about? Finally, you need another one for each one. Uh, the adjective. So let's say you have a puppet, such as in the case of the Netherlands. There is the Dutch East Indies, or in British, it's the British e or British Raj, not British East Indies, but the Dutch and British part is what we're looking at. So if you are ever to puppet something and it's named for like the tutorial, uh, we need to have a special name, like British or Dutch or German, you know, adjective. So neutrality. So tutorial. However, it isn't really a nationality, so I don't know. So we could we could just call it tutorial. So if we were to have, for example, the uh, Raj as a puppet, it'd be the tutorial Raj. Uh, so we could go for communism, fascism. And democratic. Save that. And let's go have a look. Let's see our country on the map. Don't be surprised if when you look at your country, if anything is wrong. It's very easy to make mistakes. As with anything that has to do with programming or really any, not even outside of programming, it is really easy 
to make mistakes, but it's even more so in stuff like this. As if you type anything wrong, it's a mistake. You know, the computer won't understand it. Alrighty, once you're in the game, go ahead, load up a new game. Ah, there's our country right there. Tutorial country. Let's uh, play as it. Perhaps green wasn't the best color when we're right next to uh, Italy. So, if we were to look at our state, as you can see, we do not have a flag or a leader yet. We still have to do that. Although, since we did give the information about the uh, Afghanistan leader, we have his name and such, but... And you can see our pie chart, according to the stuff we did last episode. And we have the generic focus tree. If we look at our country, as you can see, there's our capital of Innsbruck. As you can see, Austria still has a division in our land because their order of battle hasn't been edited. We can do that. You can see Tyrol, which Austria has a claim on. So yeah, that, that, that concludes this episode. Next episode, we will go into flag creation and possibly portrait creation that will be in the next two episodes. Uh, I'm not sure what order that will be in. But once those two episodes are out, all we really have left are national focuses. And national focuses are probably one of the hardest parts about modding. Or at least in my opinion. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.